Smell it. I am just getting stuff set up after work. I won't be that long. Music from a game called Fury Dave. It's a pretty decent game, I'm going to try it at some point. Yeah, the Resi 3 remake looks a lot of fun. So I've only played the Resident Evil 1 remake so far, I think it is. Right, got everything set up, so let's get on with it. Tired. Working from home is a pain. Like it's uh, way more complicated than it is at home or being actually in the office. So let's switch this over. So I am knackered today after working because work has been mental. So I'm going to play a bit of Subnautica. Turn this up. Yeah, it's just the Discord thing being a bit slow, Kelly. It does it sometimes. It'll probably pop, probably pop up in a few minutes.
You're right, John. So I'm just having a lazy one today after work. I was going to play some more Two Point Hospital, but my brain is mashed, so I just ruined it. So I'm going to dick around on this for a while. Yeah, I've um, I've gotten a decent way into it before. Uh, I think I was missing the gear to get to the deepest bits of the ocean, but the the sea monsters and stuff and the variety in it are great. Right in the face. And everything's on fire. Useful. Quick, get the fire extinguisher. Get it! Fixed it. Oh, that's cool. They've updated the animations and stuff since the last time I played it. Minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. <clears throat> detailed survival advice. That's just what we've been told. There. Reading this, you've survived an emergency evacuation of a capital class ship equipped with Altera technology. So that's just telling us about survival and stuff, what it looks for. Minister first aid, take inventory, survey the environment, construct stuff. Check life pod for damage, check broadcasts. Look for other survivors and stay well. So, take that. We'll take these. So we've got some flares, filtered water, some food. You're broken. What was that? Power cells are still full. Circuitry offline, secondary radio, everything offline. Full integrity is fine. And this is where we can build stuff. We can get water there, we can get equipment. So we need... Titanium. Silicon. Batteries. How do we get batteries? Right, we got batteries, we need mushrooms and copper. And I can't make those yet. Have a look outside. <gasps> Bird! And there is our crashed ship. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. 
cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Looks like everybody is dead. Get some food. Um, we're in the middle of the ocean. Ah, there we go. So we have a separate up and down thing. Get some metal. Hi, Manu. My brain was mashed after work, so I decided to start something new after uh, Oxygen. start something new rather than continuing with two point for now. So so far we have been on that fancy ship over there that blew up in space, and we escaped in a little pod, and we have literally just splash down in the ocean so I am looking for stuff to survive at the moment <gasps> limestone and titanium hi Brina coral fish grab it Near you. Oxygen. New creature discovered. Caught fish. Ah, oh, this is like a thingy menu, like a crafting menu. So I have found a fish. <laughs> you thought I was in space. Yeah, this is the one Sherry always jokes about having a good water level on it. Sensor below. Oh, I can get in here as well. well let's see what we can make. Ah, so we can turn the salvage into more titanium. Yeah, you've all got the bears now, if you've got subs and everything. I got them all uploaded and approved. Ah, I can cook the fish. If I can find salt, I can cure it. The fabricator cooks small organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, we'll get internal organs, thus rendering them the safe oxygen for tank. consumption. Oh cool, so it gives you the blueprint for the bigger ones. Still don't have anything for those. Fins we need. Rubber. Where can we get rubber from? <laughs> Creep Vine Sea Cluster. Oh, we can get glass if we can find quartz and we can make bleach as well batteries we still need the copper ore pins Let's put these in storage <laughs> oh, the Christmas things work quite well on it. Oh, it's another one of those rays. Can I grab it? Too big to grab. Right. So it said creep vine seeds. Um, that's the seaweed looking stuff, if I remember right. Yeah, I can see them down there.
Oh, you can literally just grab the fish if you get close enough. New creature discovered. So we're going to hover a fish. And you can literally just let it go again. Cool. Life on this yeah, it used to just be that you could only and biomes. Study kill them. So your choices were like, do you want to kill it and eat it? Local scans show a nearby cave entrance oh, at 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. New creature discovered. Ah, uh, so keep an eye out for caves as well then. So it never used to give you anything like this. Like it used to just dump you in and say, do it. And you get a few instructions on like how to make a knife, which I've not seen yet. And you could use the knife to take samples and stuff. Let's make those flippers. Ah, so I need glass and silver to make the bigger one. Silicon there. <gasps> Brina! <laughs> the fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Oh, cool. They uh, automatically equip them for you as well. Just timing Kelly out like that. <laughs> Flexing his mod powers. Oh, repair tool. I need more silicon, sulfur, and titanium. Knife. I just need rubber and titanium. Right. I can make a knife. Go in there. Does it on purpose, Kelly? So I've got a knife. Following the massacre knife. on Braxis Prime, the knife remains the only exception. Right. So I still need. Ooh, a habitat builder. That must be how you make the bases now. So I need some sulfur for the repair tool and a battery for the scanner. And the battery needs acid mushrooms, which I've got, and copper ore. <gasps> Dark. Oh, cool. Look at all the luminescence in them. Right, I need to find sulfur. Oh, it's that thing making the sound. Oop, didn't like that. Brina, are you streaming the red tonight at seven? Detecting increased local radiation levels. 
trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet yeah. fall. So the ship is going to screw up the planet. Where am I going to find sulfur? That's like volcanoes and stuff usually. <gasps> right, that's where you get those. New creature discovered. New fish. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Oh, it makes off. It makes oxygen. Cool. Still need to find sulfur somewhere. Oh. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Ah, oh, another one. Fuck off. Fuck you. Right, fuck going that way for a while. Whoa. It blew it up. <laughs> Yeah, you can piss right off. <gasps> Quartz. Copper. And copper. Of all powered equipment. Your and sulfur. That's exactly what I needed. Sweet. But I should casually drown while I collect it all. We got further away than I thought then. That's what I'm trying, Dave. I'm only allowed a little knife. They said I'm not allowed guns. Ooh, sea glide. Oh, I'm gonna need to scan it or something, Anna. That's what you have to do in the old version. Analyzer. Crash left a forklift truck behind. Thirty seconds. Oh. Quick swim. At least the markers are more visible now. You never used to be able to see those markers. Like where the little with the little range thing above it, it used to be impossible to see. You can use the fish to make water. Cool. Get your jabber. So we got the oxygen tank. So we need a repair tool. What do we need for the scanner? So for the scanner we needed a battery. To make a battery we need acid mushrooms which I left in here go in there, you can go in there acid mushrooms you make a battery ah oh, cool, so like just by crafting stuff it unlocks the new recipes for you. 
Now we have a scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Oh, cool. So I can scan stuff with it and get new blueprints. Does this thing just give free med kits? It does. Cool. Right, let's fix things. With our magic repair tool. And we have light. Let's see. Secondary systems are online. Radios are still off. Uncharted ocean planet, oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, waterborne bacteria levels high. That's not good. Fix the radio. Yeah, we're going to be waiting a while for that rescue then. Right, what else can we build? High capacity O2, we need silver and glass. How do we get glass? Glass, glass, glass is just two quarts. We already have one. And we don't know how to make those yet. And I could do with some water. Where is it? That does not fill up anywhere near as much as I thought it would. Do we have any more? We do. Hi Sherry. Uh, at the moment it's to survive I think. You just get instructions telling you to survive and maybe make a base. Where's my scanner? Start scanning everything. <gasps> I thought you might say that, Sherry. What was that? There's an egg. Kelly, I found Bart. An unidentified egg. <gasps> Finally finished it, Sherry. When is it you've got to hand it in? Where was that bit I found before? There's like bits of broken ship there that I could scan. It was this way, wasn't it? Was it? This is a very pretty game. There's one of the box things. Looks like salt or something below me as well, or more quartz. It's 
sandstorm. Bit hard. Gold! We've got gold. No use for it yet. That. A laser cutter. Find some silver. Of many so we needed silver. We need another piece of quartz. That's what I was looking for over there. These are just broken bits of the ship. We've got a beacon. Vending machine. Definitely gonna need one of those. Sea glide. Sea glide. That's the thing I was looking for before. The thing I was looking at, and it said I couldn't build it yet. Wasn't there a bit of one on the floor? Where's it gone? It's a little box. There's it. There it is. Sea glide. Oh, it's one of those diver things. Right. Let's go back and see if we can build one. That way. It's truly the future, Dave. And more quartz, that's what we needed. Oh, it's in the water again. I'm going to take that sulfur though. Can I scan it? Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Where are we going? That way. Yeah, he came straight for us then. So I need battery, lubricant and copper wire. Where do I get those? Can I build any more of this first? Flares. Air bladder. Pathfinder tool. Flashlight. You, I need a battery, lubricant, and copper wire. So, battery is. Bond's already tried, you missed it. Acid mushrooms and copper. I need more copper. 
need more storage as well. Have a look near the ship. So, and you'll need two acid mushrooms. Need to find some. Oh, another one. Oh, that one disappeared. That looks like a shark. What are you? Sand shark. There is a shark. Salt. It's that radio signal. And it's gone dark. Oh, I threw it. To blind myself as I try and pick it up. You can only drop the flares. So I have receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Ah, so we can go and investigate. So we'll make that battery. We still need copper wiring. Oh yeah, there. Copper wire is too copper. Then we need lubricant and titanium. Dump some stuff in there while I can. Keep one of the salt because it said that was useful. Bleach, that's how you make the bleach. Is an essential chemical used for cleaning wounds and purifying water. Ah, we can make water from it. Oh, we get to make water. Preparing the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. There we go, that's a decent bit of water. So, got a battery. I need some more of those seeds for the lubricant. Which direction were they in? This way. So that's where the other people are. Get some of these fancy seeds. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing that doesn't to sound good. So, what else do I need? I've forgotten already. 
if I can use that to make the lubricant. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. So I just need some more copper now. Copper, copper, copper. You were in the limestone, was it? Fuck you! Ow! Oi, Wayne! I am currently getting my ass kicked by exploding fish. Give me that. Oh yeah, I definitely made it angry, Kelly. Look at it. Oop. Piss right off. There. <laughs> right, I still need to find more copper. Where is it? More quartz, so I can make glass. Is that more salt? Salt. Lead. We got lead as well now. Thirty seconds. Still need more copper. I'm sure they've slowed down the movement in this game as well. Limestone that has copper in. Titanium and copper. Titanium. Useless. Copper! What else do I need? I need one more piece of copper, don't I? Because I need two for the wire. Yeah. Well, one of you is going to Oh, fuck you! Go right off. Ow. Those little shits are annoying. Copper! There. Now I can build the sea glide thingy. It's what I think it is, we'll be able to go really fast then. for me then. Right, so I needed copper wire which is there. 
now I can build the Sea Glide. Which is the underwater propeller the thing. Sea Glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Right, let's convert this metal into titanium. We'll take you out. Take some food with me. Oh, non functional. Screw you then, you're going to be Drop. Drop. Wonder if it'll just stay there. Then the Sea Glide is the little propeller. That is miles faster. Right, so. Life pod was that way. Try not to get eaten. Oh, it's got like a scanner in it as well. Cool. Just try not to get eaten on the way because I know that there's like giant fish and all sorts in this game. What are you? A floater! May aid in flotation of sunken objects. Does that mean I can stick it to things? another radio signal but I'm going to see in this thing first. Eggs. I got turned around, it's supposed to be going that way.
gasopod. Right. Direction was that thingy in there. That way. Oxygen. There's the life pod. Found it. That's what it looks like. Bot plug seal. Scanner. Looks like that life pod exploded. Nobody in it. PDA. Data. Where has it gone? There was a thing then to play it there. Uh. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. New blueprint acquired. Wait, hang on, new blueprint. What was that? Compass. Copper wire and a wiring kit. Let's see if we can get to the ship. I wonder if I can like whoop. You can fuck right off. I'll fight you. Yeah, we'll fight two of you. This way. That sound it sounds like a whale. Whoa, look at that, it's massive. If I can scan it. And it's got a reef back. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. Reef back Leviathan. <gasps> ah. What hit me? I don't know what did that. Leviathans. Design designated Leviathan class. Feeds on plankton like life forms in the water. So it's, it's a whale. It's a blue whale. A lot of these are based on like, wow, that just threw something, it did, it threw something at me, I tried to. Look, it's still doing it. Yeah, I think it was one of those spine things. Let's continue trying to get to the ship. Look how deep it goes as well. 
I, it all used to be shallow. <clears throat> oh, radiation. That hurts. Oh, back this way. So I need some sort of radiation protection. Did I remember a med pack? I did. That almost killed me. Oh yeah, I found lead, didn't I? I bet you I can make something with the lead. And the lead was in sandstone. <clears throat> it has been a long time since I've played any Fallout. Even then I never really used a Radaway or anything like that in it. I always used to go hunting for... Um, I heard you, you little exploding bastard. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine. Oh you. wow! Swimming was our favorite activity. I wonder why. Coffee vending machine. That'll definitely come in useful. <gasps> Another one. Oh, it was stuck under there. Oh, look, somebody had their picture in a locker. More sea glide bits. 30 seconds. Wee. Yeah, it still stutters a bit coming out of the water. A bit with a forklift truck, I've already been there. New messages. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't warn us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. That doesn't sound good. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's <gasps> drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. It's gonna blow up. How fast does time move on this thing? Is there like a clock anywhere? <laughs> Sounds like Snake's death scream. Mobile vehicle bear. Ah, so I need to scan stuff to unlock them. So 
that's the bladder fish. Ah, so we can get we can make bigger batteries. That's the wiring kit. Oh, so. Can we make anything fancy yet? Pipe. We can make a compass, but I need more silver. Ooh, where do I make these? And a submarine. Right. Ah, so I need to build the mobile vehicle bay, then I can build the submarine. I need to build the habitat builder to be able to build those. Right, well, still not fair in time on here anywhere. Right. Didn't even give you a watch or anything. So. It's broken. Yes, I would like to report a bug. We have animals that can pause in the air. I need water. Did I have any in here? I'm sure I had some more salt. Can I make some bleach or something? Yeah, we've got salt there. So we need more of that coral stuff. Which was from... Is it these tubes? What is it? Scan. I am just going to scan everything and see what it lets me build. So, make bleach. And then from the bleach we can make disinfected water. Vital signs there we go. Any more salt and I can make some more. Yes, we do. Now I've got some spare water. Uh, good point, Dave. They just have something that lets them stay in the air. Oh, yeah. I meant to turn the bleach to water, didn't I? There. Wonder what do I need for the high capacity tank? Glass, silver, and a standard tank. Do I have any silver? I do. How do I make glass? Glass times two. So I need two more quartz. I have two more quartz. Cool. I can build a high capacity tank straight away. <laughs> Always thinking. I wonder, can I just take this one off and use it to craft? I can! Now we have the high capacity tank. Oh, 
135 oxygen. Well, it's better. Put you back in there. Put you back in there. And a rebreather, we need a wiring kit. Conserves oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs and re recycles carbon dioxide into breathable air. So we need wiring kit and fiber mesh. Well, what was wiring kit? Wiring kit was two silver. Fiber mesh is two creep line samples. I've already got one, haven't I? Yeah, creep line samples. So I need another one of those. And I need to find some silver. What was silver in again? It was silver in the sandstone. Oh, okay, another radio message just as I left. Right. Grab that. Radio. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora D. Reed. Over. Another the vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS. You offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. I think you can find everything in the water. Kelly, everything I've found so far has been underwater. And when I played this last, everything that you could need, you could find under the water. Um, geological data. Get wreckage. Sandstone has silver in it, so I need to find some sandstone. If I can find two pieces of silver, I can make the rebreather. Sandstone. Are you sandstone? No, you are limestone. You look like sandstone. And you've got silver in you. Perfect. Ooh. Another piece of the laser car. Two out of three now. Some more salt. Just need to find more sandstone now. One more piece of silver. Ooh. Caves. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, yeah, it's dropping like four at a time now. Three at a time. Jelly shroom. Oh yeah, I know what's down there. I recognise those. Thirty seconds. Find me some sandstone. Got to be some here somewhere. You are sandstone. More lead. Are you silver? 
You are. Cool. Let's go make a rebreather. Which way was that way? Hi, Trua. Thanks for the raid. How did the rest of Minecraft go? I've still got it set up properly. D D D D D. Oh, you played some chess then, did you? Sherry scam you out of another win. Right, I needed wiring kit. <laughs> I am just. There you go, I have the rebreather as well now, so I can last even longer underwater. <laughs> yeah, I barely know how to play chess. Like, I know what the pieces do. Can't remember like, any strategies or anything like that. All I can remember is that Sherry keeps shouting at people telling they need to control the middle of the board <gasps> emergency the quantum detonation has occurred in the aurora's drive core the it's reactor explode. reach a super critical state in t minus 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 Whoa. Well, not getting on that ship again. <gasps> but we can make radiation suit now. How do we make it? We need two lead and two fibre mesh. I already got two lead. I'm dropping one up. One, two, uh, fibre mesh. There's samples from the plants, wasn't it? Chip is dead. Yeah, two creep mine samples, and I need two cyber mesh, fiber mesh, so that's four. This way. One, two, three, four. Oh, this thing is running out of power. I need to work out how to recharge it. Um, no missions or quests or anything, Sherry. We've had a couple of radio signals. Like, you can see that marker there, if you can just see it against the side. It was like another, um, life pod that crashed. But we got there and there was nobody there. So at the moment, the mission is get stuff and survive. So now I have a radiation suit, meaning I can probably get close to the ship actually. Ah, so I'm going to wear a helmet with it. So I'm going to swap the rebreather for the radiation helmet. So I've got the high capacity, I've got some fins, 
got a full radiation suit and I've got the little sea glide. So I'm gonna go and explore that thing next. But it is Hi Jamie! Thanks for the follow. You got here just as I'm finishing. It's the uh, the ship has just exploded in our face. And there is a story to it. So far we don't know much of it because I've only been playing it for like not even an hour. But we were on that ship and it fell out of the sky onto this planet for some reason. And we escaped in this little pod and splashed down. And when we first got here it said that there were no life signs detected on that ship. So there's nobody in there. But there must be other pods because we found at least one of them. That even sent us a radio signal. But... We are going to finish here for now. It is a fun game. It's a very pretty game as well. Like, I'm recognising a lot of the life, like the lives and stuff from marine biology and things like that. Like, I recognise stuff from it. But we will be finishing now because there is a Warcraft raid I have to go to. Which I believe Breener will, should be streaming it. Should be. I don't know if he's live or not yet. Can't see him. Yeah, you caught us just at the end. Uh, is Breener alive? Is Melo just being slow again? He is. So we will raid our way over to Breener. Where our guild, the Paddy Irishman, shall be making our way into the latest raid. I will be playing with Breener, yeah. I will be in there on my little priest. So thank you all for coming. I will see you all again on Saturday where we will be continuing with Dark Souls 1. Or trying to anyway. We'll see you all soon and have fun watching Breener and the rest of us get frustrated with the boss.